This is Professor Darif Seitz. This Java tutorial is part two on applets. It takes a look at the classes involved in developing an applet, the applet class diagram. Here we see your applet that you would create. First of all, it must extend the J applet class. That's an inheritance relationship. You use the extends keyword. We'll see that in the next tutorial. J applet has some functions here that are going to um, govern the behavior of applets in a web browser or mainly in a web browser. In the applet viewer, these uh, different events don't really all happen. The init is a place where you can write code to initialize things in your applet that you want to occur before it's displayed. The paint method is called every time your applet needs to be repainted because its window in its web page is being shown or is covered and uncovered by another window. The paint method is where you do all your drawing. It's called paint. When the applet's done, it uh, calls the destroy method where you could put any cleanup code. And then there's a start and stop in there. Those functions have to do with when you gain the focus or lose the focus in the browser. You are These are events that where you can put code. We're not going to be looking at those um, event functions in the simple applets that we'll be developing, but you should be aware that for more sophisticated applets these uh, functions are used. <clears throat> the main uh, class that you'll be using is a graphics class. When, you, when your paint function is called, a parameter that's passed to it is a graphics uh, reference to a graphics object. And that's where, what you'll use all the functions in there to do all your drawing including even displaying text in your applet. So if we look through the functions in graphics here, there's quite a number of them. There's a draw 3D rectangle, draw an arc, draw an image, a line, an oval, which would include a circle, a polygon, a polyline, a rectangle, a round rectangle with rounded corners. Draw a string is how you put text on your applet window. String is text. And then there's some fill functions. So draw draws the borders of things. When you do the fill functions, it fills the entire area of the object that you're drawing. So there's a fill 3D, fill arc, fill oval, fill polygon, rectangle, round rectangle. You can also set the color to use and that from that point on any drawing will be in that color and you can set the font as well to change the font for text from that point on. If you want to change it again you need to call these again. Down here, you'll notice that, um, well, I should say that not all the parameters are shown here. For simplicity, we're just showing the functions names. These functions have a number of parameters, and it would just make this overly complicated looking to show them here. So you'll want to look in the Java API documentation for these functions to see what the parameters are as you study them. But uh, a couple things that are used. Color is a class that's used. It's a simple class for um, changing your colors. And polygon is another class referenced by the graphics that's being used in your applet because you'll need to set up a polygon and, and use it in some of these calls to draw a polygon or to set color, you'll need to set up a color. 
So you'll be working with all these functions, polygons, and color. You should know that the graphics class is historically not the latest and greatest. Uh, there's now a graphics 2D, which is more advanced. And it inherits from graphics, so it it extends graphics, it gets everything that graphics has and can do it, but it has other things. I've only shown two very simple ones here that are not available in the basic graphics. If you want to change the thickness of the, the pen that you're drawing with called the stroke, there's a set stroke where you can change the thickness and the get stroke to get what the current thickness is. The stroke itself is an interface, something that if you don't know about, you'll learn about later in your uh, programming uh, learning. And there's a basic stroke that inherits from stroke and that can be used to change the stroke in your applets. So it's it's important to have this overview, or this conceptual view in your mind, so when you're working with your applet, you'll have some understanding of what's involved, of why you extend the J applet, and that there's all these methods available, and you need to use some of the objects of other classes, and at points, you'll want to use a graphics 2D in the subsequent uh, tutorials on applets, we will be showing all of these different things shown in this overview document.